Welcome to another Fast Tips video brought to you by AccessLearningZone.com. I am your instructor, Richard Rost. In today's video, we're going to talk about the error message, invalid use of null, one of my favorite ones. And I'm going to show you how to prevent sending a null value to a function in Microsoft Access. This video came about when one of my subscribers on my YouTube channel, Rabbit Follower, pointed out that in my filter characters tech help video, if you send the phone number field to the filter characters function, but someone blanked the phone number field, it's going to return invalid use of null. And he suggests concatenating an empty string on the end of that to fix the problem, which it will. There's a couple of different ways to fix this problem, and I'll show you a couple different ways in just a minute. He also points out correctly that that video is about filtering, and I don't always catch every possibility when I'm putting a video together. You know, that comes in the usability phase later when you're playing with it and you go, oops, oh crap, <laughs> there's a bug, and you fix it then. So I was, I was focused mostly on the filtering aspect of it. But yeah, we got a problem if someone blanks that phone number field. Let me show you. So first, if you haven't watched my filter characters video, go watch that first so you know what I'm talking about. I'll put a link down below in the description below the video so you can go click on that. Basically, it's like if you have someone that types in a phone number with weird characters in it, the filter function will just simply remove those and leave only the digits behind. Here's a copy of the database. If I come in here and I put 716-555-3333, hit tab, filter characters filters it out, and it looks like a normal phone number. Now, the problem is, and this is what Rabbit Fowler pointed out, if I delete that and hit tab, I get invalid use of null. What does that mean? Well, a null value is basically a value that doesn't exist. You don't have any data there, okay? And if you hit debug, you see it brings us to this line here. And the problem is phone number right now, as you can see, is null. So we have to do, there's, there's a couple different ways we can fix this. We can either intercept the video ahead of time and then not run filter characters, or we can play some tricks with the value itself. So let's stop this code, okay? The first way we could handle this is by simply saying right here, if is null phone, then exit sub. All right, in other words, if it comes in here and the phone number is null, just get out of town. Don't do anything. So if I come in here and I do that, and then I delete it, we're all set, okay? But there's also a couple of other tricks we could play. The first trick, and this is what Rabbit Follower suggests, is we can simply concatenate an empty string on the end. That will technically convert that whole thing to an empty string. Whenever you concatenate null onto or with anything, it just basically is ignored. Okay, and that has the same effect. So if I put something in here and then I delete it, again, no error message. Another way that you could do it, and this is the way I usually do it, is I use the NZ function. It's null zero. Basically, it'll convert any null value into anything else that you want. Usually it's used for zero. I got a whole separate video on NZ too. You can go watch that one. I'll put a link down below. But if you go NZ, phone is the value. And then what do you want to turn that into if phone is null? Again, an empty string. All right, so it'll look at phone, convert it to an empty string. And then again, it should work just fine, right? And delete, there we go, see? You can't fix it in the function because you can't send a null value as a function parameter. It'd be nice if we could just go into filter characters and deal with it in here, but you can't. So you got to deal with it outside the function out here. Another time this usually comes up is with parameters like this. If you look at my customer list, oh, save changes, sure. If you look at my customer list, right, when we double click on one of these guys, I made a double click event. If you go back and watch the blank uh, the blank database video where I build this, double click, it opens up Jean-Luc, right? Well, if you double click down here, it will throw an error. But I believe when I coded this, I took that into consideration in the on double click event. Yep, if is null customer ID, then exit sub. If that's not there, you get the same problem, right? Customer list, double click down here, because that's a null value. It just says new there. That's where your new record comes in. But, right, basically the same thing. Syntax, error, missing operator, and expression, you have a null value here as customer ID, and it doesn't like that. So you could either wrap this in the NZ function, or you can do what I've got here and just say, if it's null, then don't do it. Don't do it. Get out of town. So thanks once again to Rabbit Follower for posting this, uh, this comment on there. And yeah, he's posted a couple of good ones in the past. So Rabbit, I appreciate your, uh, your feedback all the time. 
And, of course, if anyone else, if you got something to say, you got some comments, some questions, go ahead and post them. Um, you can also post them on the forums on my website. There's the address right there for the access forum. I hope you learned something today. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time. How do you become a member? Click on the Join button below the video. After you click the Join button, you'll see a list of all the different membership levels that are available, each with its own special perks. Silver members and up will get access to all of my extended cut tech help videos, one free beginner class each month, and more. Gold members get access to download all of the sample databases that I build in my tech help videos, plus my code vault where I keep tons of different functions that I use. You'll also get a higher priority if you decide to submit any tech help questions to me, and you'll get one free expert class each month after you finish the beginner series. Platinum members get all the previous perks, plus even higher priority for tech help questions, access to all of my full beginner courses for every subject, and one free developer class each month after you finish the expert classes. These are the full-length courses found on my website, not just for access, too. I also teach Word, Excel, Visual Basic, and lots more. You can now become a Diamond sponsor and have your name or company name listed on a sponsors page that will be shown in each video as long as you're a sponsor. You'll get a shout-out in the video and a link to your website or product in the text below the video and on my website. But don't worry, these free tech help videos are going to keep coming. As long as you keep watching them, I'll keep making more, and they'll always be free. If you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up and post any comments you may have. I do try to read and answer all of them as soon as I can. Make sure you subscribe to my channel, which is completely free, and click on the bell icon to select all to receive notifications when new videos are posted. Make sure you click the show more link down below the video to find additional resources and links. You'll see a list of other videos, additional information related to the current topic, free lessons, and lots more. YouTube no longer sends out email notifications when new videos are posted, so if you'd like to get an email every time I post a video, click on the link to join my mailing list. Even if you don't want to become a member, feel free to donate to my tip jar. Your patronage is greatly appreciated and will help keep these free videos coming. I got puppies to feed. Now, if you have not yet tried my free Access Level 1 course, check it out now. It covers all the basics of Microsoft Access. It's over four hours long, and I just updated it for 2021. You can find it on my website or on my YouTube channel. I'll include a link below that you can click on. And also, if you like level one, level two is just $1. Yep, that's all, $1. And it's free for all members of my YouTube channel at any level, even supporters. Want to have your question answered in a video just like this one? Visit my tech help page on my website, and you can send me your question there. While you're on my site, feel free to stop by the Access Forum. Lots of good conversations happening there. Be sure to follow my blog, find me on Twitter, and of course, YouTube. Once again, my name is Richard Ross. Thank you for watching this tech help video brought to you by AccessLearningZone.com. I hope you enjoyed this video and that you learned something today. I'll see you again soon.